Space Private. We've got a mission and it's straight from the top. And this is the easy one to follow. Never give in. Never give in. Never, never, never give in and surrender. That's it. Never. Greetings and welcome. My name is Mingle, and this is Cards. Cards is a digital collectible card game set in World War II setting. It is a CCG PvP game playing against other players or AI, um, comparing it to Hearthstone or Magic the Gathering. And this game is new. It's free to play on Steam. You can download it. I will have the link available down in the description. And I've been playing this game for a month. I got it on early... I got an early access key and it recently came out and the first season is done and dusted and I'm going to invite you to join me for the second season of the Cards Ranked Play to try and make a British deck allied with America and see how well we can rank in, in the next month. Um, so this is the introduction um, episode to my channel for the card series and um, we're gonna work on a common wealth deck. I am a social gamer, I'll be playing anything between one to four games per week and I will give you a episode once a week with a summary of what happened this week and what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and improve on this deck and see how well I can end up towards the end of this uh, ranked season. So let's jump in and have a look. Um, only a private in the in, in the Britain the Britain faction. I've got 28 days remaining and um, I've got a bit of progress on um, playing as Germany mostly. So my collection is I guess not too bad. Uh, I've purchased a few packs but mainly I do the in-game currency and um, yeah let's jump in and I'll show you the deck and then we'll play a game. Uh, I'm gonna give it to you as it is. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it and only show you my wins. I'm gonna play it if I win, I win. If I lose, I lose. And let's work on that and try and improve it and see if I can rank Climb the rank, the ladder with me. Great. Uh, so the card, I've I've named my my uh, Commonwealth deck. Never give in. And this is what the deck uh, comprises of. So basically, your HQ has got 20 HP starting. The bottom column is my um, cards. I've selected to be in my uh, player deck, and then the bottom cards is what you build the deck with. So, total of 40 cards in your uh, deck, and I've got uh, 10 ally factions, a uh, uh, merger, uh, hybrid type of uh, deck they do in this game. So, 10 ally um, American cards and 30 British cards. AA Barrage. So, what we're doing is we're sending uh, A units back to the opponent's hand, and my H as a plus two going up to 22 dust and then um, dealing some damage trying to draw some cards which is very important for this deck to function more damage to uh, enemies in the support line and gaining more defense and then I've got um, some guard keyword cards guard meaning it basically shields the HQ or adjacent um, units. Commando, this is like the second part of my deck. Basically, it's got the smoke screen keyword. Um, unit cannot be attacked until it has moved or attack. However, enemy, um, uh, I want to call it events, enemy um, order cards can target this or 
a, a similar card to the commando. Whenever you give an order, deal one damage to an enemy. Can also be targeted from the opponent, so they're not, you know, 100% safe. But still, it's nice to keep him in the smoke screen to try and benefit on this ability over here. All right, some damage to enemy tanks. So playing the order, also known as an event from other card games, would trigger the deal one damage. Some uh, buffing for my units, plus one one, draw another card, send enemy unit back to the owner's hand, my HQ goes up by plus three. HQ immunity for the round, for one of few games playing this card. Plus seven to the fortification, draw some cards, plus two cards and then plus two to my HQ playing this um, regiment unit infantry um, I added this card because it's like a special card and also uh, it's got the fury keyword which means it can attack twice in a turn and just try and keep the opponent busy just by the time so I can play my trump card the card to end the game in favor of the British we shall never give in Death from above, this is where my Amer American um, cards comes into play. Hopefully, if I play this, I might be able to uh, destroy some of the more difficult uh, units on the opponent's side of the field. Card draw. Some um, tanks. Uh, to, to tank for my HQ. Survivability. Prolonging the match. I'm going late game here, baby. And then we've got two American, um, one is a fighter jet and the other one is a bomber. I'm after the special effects um, deployment, deal three damage to random enemy and destruction, destroy random enemy unit. And second last card, let's open it up, is a coastal gun. Each time this cannon fires its artillery unit um, and it attacks, I put plus three defense on my HQ. This unit gets sapped. As soon as I play this card, it gets sapped off. But I, I, one day I will have a nice, you know, uh, a lot of uh, attacks with this card, hopefully. And then this is what it's all about, the Commonwealth. So what we're doing is we are going to play a long game. We, we try and finish it on 12 rounds. And it's a turtle deck. What we're doing is we want to get the enemy's HQ below 20 and we want to get my HQ above 30 and then I play this card and I basically win the game. I'm not bothered with drawing four cards. I want to end the game with this card. And it's quite um, uh, surprisingly I am South African so it's nice to see we didn't play a humongous part in the war but it's nice to see that you know we are got a photo up here of my country of uh, some of the forces that were involved in the theater of war. Great! That is the deck. This is what we're going to start off with. I'm not going to jump right now into my library and, you know, my collection or what other cards I have available. We'll get into this in a future episode, I, I think is best. Great. Okay, as promised, let's play a game. I'm not going to keep talking for hours and hours about my never give in commonwealth deck and let's see how that goes um, if you have any recommendations uh, kindly drop me a comment and um, we can have a look at that and hopefully I can uh, improve on this uh, deck um, so Stalingrad is uh, Russians so they might have tanks um, these are all expensive cards Let's just start, just mulligan all of them. Not ideal. Uh, hello. And end. Alright, so we've got the 5 damage to the tank. I can take that out immediately, which I'm going to do. Um, we wish to draw a card, please, sir. Oh, come on. Playing this card wrong. They need to be in the front line over here in the middle. Okay, never mind. We'll play my gunship. We need to dig for that Commonwealth card. 
my trump card. Oh, this is a terrible uh, infantry unit with the ambush wood, and they heal at the end of the turn. Mm, what's the cost of it? Three. I guess we need to probably. Well, let's put the commando on the table. Oh, Katusha. Um, I don't know. Let's let's send him back. No, commandos, you're supposed to take out the Katusha. Come on. Give me some of those RNG goodness and strike the right top. Ooh, golden card. They introduced uh, golden cards um, with the latest. Uh, after season one, basically, they introduced the, as a reward system. They introduced golden cards, and I'm gonna play a, another commando, and then I'm gonna boost my HQ up plus seven. Oh, look at that! Terrible luck. Two commandos, and not one of them can can hit the Katusha. Oh. See, that's what I spoke about earlier. So his deployment ability allows him to target the commando, even though he's got the smoke screen. Not good. Um, let's put the mm, his bomber is going to target me. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's play this card to make the orders in his hand two more expensive. Does not have a tank. This this truck is actually more uh, classified as an artillery unit than a. You know, it's probably not a. It's a truck with the artillery on the back, on the buck, bucky. Okay. Well, I guess let's end the turn. We want to give our HQ plus two plus two. Was that a passive effect? Yes, deployment. So his orders will stay more expensive. Finally, we can send the. Or, um, I really want to play this fighter jet. Such low cost cards. Let's. Oof, it's gone too early for that. Okay, let's play the. Send the aircraft back. Oh, finally, commandos. Well done, commando. As if he's going to go in by himself. And then let's play the fighter jet. Just trying to buy some time here, my friend. Oh, okay, the bomber. That's actually not a. Oh, that was actually very. Really Stupid play on my behalf. Oh, look at that. Oh, terrible, terrible, terrible. We definitely need to draw some cards. We need to draw some cards. Oh, this could be nice just to keep him busy. Let's keep him busy. Unfortunately, the bomber can still strike my HQ, so the tank is. Oof, crazy. I don't have anything to deal with that. As I was saying, the um, guard keyword does not bl block bombers, so the bomber can still strike on my HQ. We want to get the HQ higher than 30, but he's focusing the tank. I'm just going to buy time. We just want to keep digging for that. Keep on digging. 
let's put you over there and you over there. That's it. 23 cards remaining and no luck. Got lots of planes, and I've only got one cart that actually sends planes back to the owner's hand. Okay, I think I oh, he strikes first, terrible. So, before my um, infantry unit, the, the regiment one can deal damage to him, he actually does his strike first, and then I oh, and he yield. Well, I'm not gonna whine, let's just get the Commonwealth card. Oof, okay, let's first take out this. Um, that. Play this one. Yes! Fate smiles upon me. Let's be aggressive. No tanks. Don't need this one. But still. And this one will buy me rounds. We're going in for the long game. Super long. If I can draw Commonwealth now, on the beginning of my turn, I'm going to be super stoked. Ah, tanks! Finally! For the king is coming out. Unfortunately, these are basically cannon fodder. They're just here to keep the opponent. I wonder, okay, he actually does send in that fight. Hurricane. Hmm. Um. Oh, I really want to play the for the king card. This is such a booyah in your face type of card. But I feel if he pulls out a tank, at least I can deal five damage to the next tank. So this is sufficient. Gunship mission. Plus 2 HQ, and let's give myself another plus 7. Yep, 19 cards in my deck remaining. Didn't, I didn't see him play that, um, what's the question mark, countermeasure card. Alright, let's just pray for my commonwealth card. This is the first time I had to dig um, this much for it. Usually I get it before the 12th level. This is definitely the first time struggling this much. But hey... This deck would definitely give you longer matches if that is what you're after. Just dig in. Uh, it's very thematic, like uh, what the British was like in the Second World War. You just just trying to pray for that that uh, you know bit of uh, luck or. or, or change of, of pace. Oi, oi, oi. Let's hope, let's hope. Nope. Oh, that's okay, I guess. So what we're going to do is, we're going to deal two damage to this. What is this, a kangaroo? No. I thought they called this a kangaroo. Mm. Alright. You have awoken the giant, my friend. 
Ah, finally! Alright, so we're gonna play Fortification and National Fire Service. My HQ shall not receive any damage, thank you, sir. And then the next turn, this beauty is gonna be played. Let's not get too happy and too excited. I am only but a private, so we are definitely going to have to work on this deck going forward once we reach the higher levels. Don't want to be too smug about it and play GG and all of that. Let's just put him out of his measure. Wonderful. So I will uh, play a few games over the weekend and early next week and then I shall give you a follow-up video um, by the end of next week and then um, we can have a recap of what's happened during the week, we can have a look at what the current standing of the deck is and we can basically then also have a quick chat about potentially improving the deck as well if I haven't started altering but I'm I want to include the viewers thank you for watching and I hope you will join me on my little personal quest I am only but a humble social gamer I'm not the best cards player out there but I would really appreciate it if you would join me on my uh, personal goal of making a strong commonwealth deck uh, I personally call it my never given deck and um, have a good week and we shall chat soon and as they would say in Afrikaans lekker week bye bye